going to Pungol MRT now and from there we'll be going to a place called Pungol Beach which is not very popular among tourists but really worth it I'll show you to you so we have arrived at uh, Pungol MRT which is uh, the last end of Pungol so in Singapore so probably not many people have heard it if they are tourists but yeah so after a lot of stops we finally arrive here Pungo Beach ah, I haven't been here for almost 16 months now so I didn't know the existing route of the bus has changed but ultimately it does come here with a lot more stops in between I think about seven or eight stops more so you would take about 15 minutes to reach here instead of initial five to seven minutes that I said so yeah but you will ultimately get here it's it's not very far it's just that the public transport takes a lot more round trip so yeah that's that walk around I show you how the beach looks like and uh, I want to show you something unique to Singapore culture these ice cream trucks they're managed by traditional old Singaporean uncles and people around here love to have ice cream on these trucks it's quite cheap one dollar one dollar fifty cents for a decent chunk of an ice cream probably if I got time I'll show you guys later I'll order one I'll show you how it looks like Time to go into the view. Is it Pada? Ready? One, two, and three. That looks nice. Is it? How does it look? I actually like this place. I like this place a lot. Peaceful. But yeah, there are lots of stuff going on around there. Beyond those ships is Malaysia. So you're basically seeing a Malaysian border from Singapore via a sea route. Okay. We'll move on to the next one. For those that you don't know, don't know much about Pungol, there is an island in Pungol. Yeah, I'll show you how to go to the island, but in a while, taking a break. So if you can see the beach behind me, uh, this is basically the place. There is a very good seafood restaurant here. I don't eat seafood much, but yeah. Those who eat has have told me it's an amazing place and yeah, all the seed crowded so yeah for sure. So let's go, let's go. It's a beautiful trail. Usually people come here for cycling, walking, just have fun let me show you something there is this beautiful island on the far end see that Wow, looks very nice, eh? And the breeze. You may be able to hear it already in the video. Trust me, it's amazing. I love this beach. And I love this place. The name of the place just behind me, I think you can see. Congo Settle. Yeah, those of you Google Map lovers, the Congo 
settlement or the Pongol beach. This is what you have to Google to come down to here. And yeah, obviously you would be worrying why the mask. Singapore is very strict when it comes to implementing rules and for everyone's good it's better that I wear masks when I go out and I'm happy to comply because it's only going to raise chaos if nobody follows the rules so I'm happy to comply and I'm happy to follow the rules A lot of people have inspired me to do these vlogs. I would like to take a special mention about my friend Bald and Bankrupt. He's amazing. Yeah, I'm not bald yet, but yeah, why not? I'll be bald one day. Just so I'm not bankrupt as well. You have to support me to be surviving and traveling more to show you more videos. There's a lot of construction going on here. I'm not really sure what they're going to build. But my gut feeling says typically an industrial or a corporate building, most probably. Okay, I think time to wrap. We will meet again one time at Coney Island about 500 to 700 meters more. The reason I switched on my camera again is we are nearby to Pony Island. I'll just show you a little bit of something a glimpse from here. You can see the island behind me that's Coney Island. I'm running a little low on battery. What is that? Huh? So yes, while I was walking towards the Coney Island to show to you guys, I saw a bunch of people looking strangely towards the sea and I was wondering what happened? Is it a shark? Is it a alligator? No, turns out to be otters. So yeah, I've taken a little footage of it, I'm not sure if it's good enough, but I'll be putting it in the video. Thank you. Okay, who wants to see some otters? on my camera again we are nearby to Pony Island I'll just show you a little bit of something a glimpse from here you can see the island behind me that's Coney Island I'm running a little low on battery What is that? Huh? Oh, 
Pepper's. <laughs> a place without a breeze. Yeah, it's very humid and a bit suffocating. But yeah, I wanted to show you Coney Island, so I'll show it to you. Yes, folks, that's Coney Island. Usually closes after sunset, so about 6 to 6 30, I guess. We'll go closer to look at the operating hours. And yeah, as usual, you can see all the ships and other islands far away. Behind the Coney Island there. Yeah. So yeah, we're nearing the Coney Island West entrance. Probably that's the only entrance I'm aware of. Probably another day. I'll show you guys other entrances of Coney Island. So yeah, that's the entrance and that's the name of the island. Operating hours? That is operating hours. So 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Don't come here because there may be animals inside there. It's the result. And there's no lighting inside there. So it's not suitable for tourists or even those who just want to have a walk. The video, the place behind me. And the place in front of me, which is now behind us. How beautiful is that? And how beautiful is that cloud? So earlier I was telling you about those ice cream trucks in Singapore. This is one of those authentic old Singapore ice cream trucks. People love to eat here and we are going to get an ice cream right now. So I would take a, a mango, you have mango? Mango finish. Mango finish, yeah. what do you have right now? Ah, so let's see the flavors. Uh, chocolate? Okay, or uh, blueberry? Okay, blueberry. I'll take one blueberry and I'll let you know how it is after we eat. I've already eaten before, but it's for you. So yeah, here it is. Blueberry. $1.30, probably in a city like Singapore. Very cheap. Yeah, let's see how it, how it tastes. Uh, can you hold this for me? Lovely, lovely. Very near. Aka, look. Aka. Look at you. Petals. This turtle is very near. Can you try and touch it? You do? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. You can try. So guys, we're finally back from the Pungol beach. Yeah, I didn't show you much of a beach. But yeah, it's more about the experience there, the walking, the Coney Island, and the seafood restaurant. Yeah, next time another video. So we're back finally from the Pungol beach. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Press the bell icon.